Hey guys, and welcome to another Toriam video. There's, uh, there's quite a lot of people around here. And before we do anything, we gotta look at our achievements, obviously. 91 hours played, 63,000 mob defeats, 222,000 meters walked, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. And, if you watched last video, it was a blacksmith video, so is this one, but... We got a very specific item. We got the Forest Wolf Crystal to drop. Not going for it, it just kinda happened. And so, I'm wondering how much that thing actually goes for on the consignment board. Because... I... Didn't really even know it had, knew it had a crystal, maybe all bosses have a crystal, but uh... I don't think this one... Is a very... Rare one. Yeah, considering people are selling it for like 3,000 spinna... Uh, somebody has a stack of 99. <laughs> How do you get a stack of 99 of Forest Wolf Crystals? That's amazing! And the fact that there's just all these singles, a stack of 99? Oh my god. That, it's ridiculous. You're not gonna make a profit off of that. What's the point of even having a, uh, a crystal if it's like, it's worthless? I mean, it's literally worthless. I could put it on equipment that I have, I guess, if anything has an open slot for this character. Not right now. But that that's hilarious. Yeah, I still have these that I think I just need to get rid of because I'm not going to do anything with them. But who, who in their right mind is able to collect 99 crystals from a boss from, like, the worst boss, probably, that drops a crystal? And then try and sell it. Nobody will ever buy that. I promise you. Also, MP charge. I may have sold it. I, this was definitely a mistake, but hey, we got 600,000 spinna. And we sold the chocolate ooze too, finally. So that's 540,000 spinna. Which, if you don't know how to count, right there is already over a million spinna. So we're now at 2.5 million spinna. So, I, th I think we're doing pretty good right now in-game. I haven't done any spin -a farming in a while, honestly. I kind of miss it. I may stream later tonight or tomorrow just for spin -a farming again, because I... I'm curious. I'm curious uh, how many views I'll get, how many people will show up. But I guess I should get to the main point of this video. However, I need to clear out my inventory. Not not create equipment. I need to clear out, clear out my inventory just a little bit. Clear out that, because obviously that thing's freaking worthless. Get rid of this thing, it's technically worthless. I keep the scarf for now. Forest Wolf Claw. Uh, let's not get rid of those yet. So, you know how I can't make any accessories, but the blacksmith is able to make accessories? Or additional gear, my bad. They're not called accessories, they're called additional gear. So, apparently... I don't know if I can make it, but there is a forest wolf something in here. Forest wolf cape. I can make several of them, I just need chaos stones. I need to go to land of chaos and get kill some ruttons. So uh, I'm going to make myself a list here real quick. And we're going to get ourselves some, um, some items. So I need, uh, I'm just gonna do items. I'm creating a text document right now on, in a random folder in my computer just to leave open. I need chaos. That's not how you spell chaos. Chaos stone. I mean, how many of them do I need? So there's, I need 10. We could make, we only need, we only need 10. We only need 10. X10. All right. I didn't even know this was here, but I want to go after it. This, obviously, isn't gonna happen, but I don't care about the additional gear. I just saw that there was a forest wolf one when I was on Corn Club, and I'm like, oh, I have to go for it. Body armor, I don't care about, but shields. Shields, I've... I found out, or I finally had a revelation. I hate the look of my shield, but I can make it look like another shield if I just, uh, put some effort in. And, uh, make some. Because I can guarantee the looks of the other one. Or, no, I want to guarantee the stats. 
but I can't guarantee the looks because you can only guarantee looks or stats or maybe dies. I'm not sure. I haven't messed with dies yet. But in order to secure the stats that I want from the shield, I have to potentially have it not change looks. So, oh wow, iron shield. I could just go buy iron and I could get more chaos stones. All right, let's uh let's just add to the chaos stones. Let's make it 25. I think I think 5 or three shields will be enough. Iron, I'll worry, I'll worry about later. That's, I can think I can just buy iron. If not, I'll go get the items. I can also make daggers, but I don't care about daggers. Uh, I am good with what Zaldo can make. Now I want to see what I can make. Because I do need a better sword. And I was looking at the saber it was. Yeah, last video I mentioned that I wanted to make these, so I need the Fatigued Blade. I would like... So I need 20 for that. And... what is it? The Long Blade, I also need 20 for that. So there's 40 Fatigued Blades that I need. Fatigue... that's not... A, fatigue, actually, that is how you spell it. Fatigue... But fatigued Blade... 40. And then I need Sharp Fang. Or, Bang, I think I need 60. I'm not gonna make many of them because I just I just want to make them just so I have them. Yeah, okay, I need 30 of the sharp fangs too. And these I can obviously look at the locations near me. So these will be the last things I go for. First, I need to go to the land of chaos and uh kill some ruttons, I guess. Well, well, we have to figure out remember where the land of chaos is first. Thought it was around here. It's so bad that I don't remember anything about the map. I... man, I'm an idiot. Aren't I? Because I've been to Land of Chaos. Why do I not remember where the hell it is? Well, I'm just gonna meet you whenever I remember where the Land of Chaos is. I've made it to the Land of Chaos, and, uh, ignore that last part that you saw, because, uh, Land of Chaos was being blocked by my character, and, uh, that would be the reason why I had no idea where it was. And, uh, well, just because I'm level 50 does not mean I'm suited to kill these level 36s. This is, this is really sad, wow. I can barely put a dent in their HP, and these are, these are s low HP monsters. Wow, I feel... I feel useless. Oh, uh, let's make things a little bit more interesting, shall we? I have Puro here. Yeah, Puro is a four, 36 out of 30... 34 out of 36, my bad. I thought, last episode, I thought its max level was 39. Nope. It's, uh, it's 36. Okay, Puro can do about as much damage as I can, honestly, if not more. And it has a skill that it can use. So, uh, what did I get there? I got, I don't need the little wyvern wings or the fang, I need the chaos stones. Alright, well we all, we all know what's about to happen and I'm just going to switch characters to make my life a whole bunch easier. So the Ruttons were not dropping a lot of chaos stones. I don't really know exactly how long it was, but uh, I'm 20 minutes into into the recording now, so I want to estimate it was about 10 minutes. I killed a whole bunch, don't know the exact number, and I only have two. I have two Chaos Stones out of 25, so we may just go try and buy some in Sofia City. But uh, here we are at Scarrow Town, where we now need to kill some of these soldier rats, I believe, for iron. Uh, yep. I killed one and did already drop the halberd, which is weird, but that's fine. I don't want it anyways. But yeah, I need to kill some of these soldier rats, and then I need to kill some of the hounds that I saw one over here. And there's... Let's see how... Oh, wow. Okay, well, that missed. Okay, there... I got a lot of criticals that time. Holy crap. Okay, I don't think that dropped what I needed it to drop. Nope, it dropped black fur. I wonder if these items are another kind of rare drop from these monsters. Sharp Fang. I'll switch characters and see how long it takes to get 60 of them. I need 60. I am regretting my life choices at this exact moment. 
I'm kind of wondering if the game is just a little bit bugged considering I've sat here for the past two minutes, which doesn't sound like long, but these soldier rats, they spawn in high quantities. I have been sitting here constantly just using spitting slash. I've probably killed about a hundred now because they're spawning that often and I'm now fully out of MP, but I've killed so many and I don't have a single iron yet. I mean, I can just buy some from the general store, but like, I'm gonna sit here and kill a whole bunch of these again. Okay, well, we got our first additional gear drop. Still have no luck with anything. Oh, there's a random hound in here. I mean, I'll take that free kill. Uh, we got another halberd, got another additional gear. We have not gotten any iron. I'm out of MP. Uh, we still have gotten no iron. Uh, I gotta wait for that to finish. All right. Kill you. Kill you. Still have no iron. Spinning slash. That only hit two, so that's disappointing. Soldier rats. They're spawning in lower uh, quantity now. I wonder why. I've killed too many. Maybe the game just says screw you at this point. I still have gotten no iron. Oh, we're still just getting the stones. Nothing. No. Oh, we... Nope, that's not iron. Never mind. I was like, oh, it's iron. Nope. All right. Well, there's uh, there's five or six killed right there. Make it seven. No iron. Nope. No iron. <laughs> I'm getting tired of saying no iron, and I bet you are too. But you see what I mean? Uh, nothing is dropping. Like I, I, I've had better luck rates with bosses. You know how many times I killed that forest wolf last episode, which was later. That which was earlier today. I probably only killed it about 50 times, and I already I got it to drop two of its um, armors. I got it to drop its crystal, which is already an insanely uh, low drop rate compared to iron. And I've gotten several halberds already, but uh, it does not want to give me iron. I still have not gotten a single piece of iron. I'm gonna go try and go to the next area where I think higher level hounds are just because maybe it affects the drop, late, drop rate just a tiny bit. But if I can't get anything to drop anything, this uh, this video is going to be me buying things from, from the consignment system, dropping all of the money I just made earlier this video, and calling it a day. You know what? Maybe the game isn't broken after all because we already have 62 sharp fangs. However, I am using my magic character, and I have switched back to Area 1 three times now, I believe. Just to uh, get all the uh, Death Hounds to respawn, because there's like two now. And even if I go and kill all the beaks on the map, they still just kind of spawn more beaks. So there's kind of a limit to what this does, but... I got my sharp fangs already. I can't complain. That wasn't too long. Wasn't the shortest thing, but now I need Fatigued Blade... I don't remember where the skeletons are. They're right there, aren't they? Yep, alright, well let's go to Rugio Ruins then, because, uh, also, an episode or two ago, you may have noticed that I didn't just teleport here, because I didn't realize there was a save point here, because it's not part of the story, really, and I just kinda never go to it. And I guess the game is bugged, because it doesn't want to load. <laughs> I've made it to the Zoxta Ruins, whatever the heck it's called. Are you serious? It won't let me go down here. Oh, that's stupid. I Why do I not remember being here, but I swear I've been here before. But I need, what, how many Fatigued Blades? I need 40 Fatigued Blades from these skeletons. There's also goblins that they drop a bowgun and hematite. But let's try and get down there and kill some skeletons. Well, there's, okay, one right there that just kind of spawned. That's fine. Yeah, obviously, uh, I'm gonna switch characters to kill these, because killing one of these at a time with this character is going to take forever, especially when they don't drop anything when I kill one of them. But I think if I switch to a character that can deal a lot of damage in a wide area, we may have a chance. Did it drop the Fatigued Blade? It... it dropped one. Alright, only 39 more to go. I'll see you with an update if it takes forever or not. I have made a discovery in my uh, quest to kill some skeletons. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of them around here. However, I can't get to the other side, at least not right now. 
So if I just drop Blizzard over there, I can kill a whole bunch of them. But then also the Golden Skeleton comes over here and tries to kill me. So what do I do? I just bring two overleveled people to kill the Golden Skeleton, and then I'll just use Blizzard on the other side again. Why not use it at the Golden Skeleton too? So then they automatically target it, they kill it, and then here, I can just prepare another blizzard for the other side. Okay, they're not killing it this time. That's interesting. Please, please kill it. Oh, I switched targeting. That's why. Maybe I have to let them finish the golden skeleton before I do anything. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. We gotta... We gotta do things properly. I would... I know there's a way to get over there, obviously, but I kind of don't give a crap. I'm just trying to do this quickly and efficiently right now. And, uh, I found a surprisingly efficient way at least at the moment because now I am at 36 out of 40 stones and golden skeleton has been targeted accidentally and golden skeleton has been eliminated <laughs> instantly <laughs> but like look how many look how many skeletons I just killed right there and then the golden skeleton dies too that's fantastic there's no way I'm not at 40 at this point oh wow we're only at 39 well that's kind of surprising get blizzard going again and boom kill every single one over there and target the golden skeleton let's kill it even though i'm doing nothing to it but uh they can well i'm freezing it i'm doing something also these guys drop strength plus two crystals uh it's pretty useless but you know i have a few of them now i have four of them now <laughs> oh golden skeletons on the offensive again and it's dead again sadly i don't think that golden skeleton is really dropping anything it can drop body armor or additional crystal, which obviously that's never going to drop, but the body armor could drop one day, but I don't think it's going to be worth my time. Oh, God, it's killing me again. That would have been lovely to know. Okay. <laughs> just, it just killed me. Oh, I want to get rid of that real quick. And I have 52 now. Wonderful. If the golden skeleton would come back. Oh, there it is. I want to try and kill it one more time. Just see, it, there's always the off chance it drops something. Well, you know, we, we've done less and gotten more, so... Okay, nope. Alright, well, it's time to go back to Sofia City and see if we can... See if we can purchase what we need. Because it's also being real buggy and loading for a while, but... Let's see if we can go buy things. So, first things first is uh, we're gonna buy a few pieces of iron because... The... You know, 100 rats wouldn't drop them, but uh, we'll just drop 6k right there for iron. Even though on the consignment board I could probably just buy a piece of equipment for less than the total amount of spin I'm going to spend this video and last video. And uh, what was the last thing I needed that I only had two of? Chaos stones, right, right, yeah. Um, We'll see. We will definitely see. Chaos. Chaos stone. Any... <laughs> okay. Guess we're not. Guess we're not doing that. Uh, what? Did, let's. What did I need the chaos stones for? Was that? Was that for the cape? I really hope it wasn't for the cape, because I spent too long trying to do that. Um, it's down here somewhere. Where is it? Forest Wolf Cape. Oh man, it was for the Forest Wolf Cape. And it was for the shields too, wasn't it? I don't care about the shields, I wanted the cape. Damn, there's gotta- No, Ruttons are the only things that drop Chaos Stones, I looked it up. And they spawn so infrequently and have such a low drop rate. It's stupid. Wow, that sucks. I guess we're not getting the Forest Wolf Cape to complete this character for a while. And we're not getting the shields either. Uh, Juno shield. Well, I could get bead fragments, honestly, but I'm not going to. Uh, what other shield could I make just to make this look better? I could just go farm a kite shield. I could go do that. I know where. I know where to. I know where to get a shield. But since we're here and we got everything else we wanted, let's uh, let's make ourselves a saber. This was not worth the effort. By the way, single saber. A single saber was not worth all that, especially one that fit. Minus 10 attack. Oh, that hits you hard. Minus 10 attack. How about a long blade? What can go wrong? 
Let's make one. What can go wrong with a long blade? It broke. Minus seven attack. I don't think that's as bad considering it's a two-handed sword. Uh, well, take a look at our uh, saber here real quick that has 24 attack. Which, to be fair, is better than the long sword. But the potential's worse. And its base attack is 34, and its attack is 24. How about this one? Base attack is 50, and it's 43. We'll just we'll just use the long blade for now. Why uh, why have a shield when you can just use a two-handed sword? Yeah, that uh, that went wonderfully. I totally am not upset with this at all. How does this look in combat? Oh yeah, it's a two-handed sword. I don't know what I expected. At least I can guard with it. That that's something. I think I should uh, just not worry about using this character because I shouldn't allocate any of the stats for what I have because I don't I don't need to. Because if I just want to have high proficiency to make whatever I want, then I just need to make the technique skill as high as possible. So, um... Yeah, this character is kind of uh, wasted. I mean, realistically, if I didn't want to do the reset stats, I could just delete this character and then redo it all. If I really wanted to, I could, but uh, I'm farming Larvecas here just to see how much this does damage-wise. Like, I'm doing less than 200, over 200, uh, under 200, under 200. Okay, so 80, 60, 70, 20 above, 30 below. How about the saber? Okay, 30 below, 30 below. It's rough estimates. That's critical, doesn't count. That's another critical. I think critical rates might be higher with a one-handed sword, but, uh... I think at the end it does it does about the same amount of damage. Sorry, Raffi. Yeah, I would say uh get more criticals with a one-handed sword, surprisingly. Critical rate is a lot higher. Somebody's just frozen in place. That's a little weird, but uh that's fine. Do I have any dash at all? No, I don't have any dash. Oh, I can block with just the just the sword. That I did not know. Ah, uh, wow, that doesn't uh that doesn't help much, huh? I'll just flinch you real quick. Just uh test things out because why the hell not but honestly look I got better long swords drop wise than I just made okay well let's just uh, use one of the ones that dropped nice hard hit why not all right let's do this one properly this time I attempt to custom not customize not it's it's an alchemy I synthesized and got it up to level 10 so I want this one as the main. I want this one as the other. I want appearance. I don't care. I want the stats of this one. Actually, no, it's gonna say it's gonna say that one no matter what. So it's useless. Because I do this one and it's gonna get rid of the one I have, and it's just gonna keep this long blade as is. It's not gonna say it was created by me and keep the stats. That's not how that works, huh? Uh well, just uh, take a look. Yeah, that is definitely not how it works. So we just uh, erased a, the long blade that I made. We just erased it from existence. That is fantastic to know. And that I am a... Uh, I am a little fed up with myself at the moment. And that I thought blacksmithing was going to be a little bit more fun in this game. Not when you can't get anything to drop... And that it's a pain in the butt to farm materials. You mess up your character. And if you want a good blacksmith character. Basically you just can't have them usable in battle at all. So you just have to level them up with another character uh, or a friend mercenary. That is uh, quite, quite dull. Isn't it? So, uh. We. Mm, I don't know what we'll do at this point. Uh. May change up how I'm playing Torium a little bit. We'll we'll see. But with that, I hope you enjoyed this video more than I did, because I definitely had some points that were not so enjoyable. <laughs> Killed a hundred rottens with two drops. Yep, with two two stones. Not even like a rare drop or anything. It should just be a standard drop, but that's uh, that's fine. Uh, if you have any chaos stones, I would greatly appreciate them, honestly. 
if you want to do the farming for me, please, please be my guest. But, uh, I would stream and do it, but the for the, uh, alignment of videos and how everything works, I'm not going to stream with a blacksmith character for now. Because it would be kind of pointless. So if I want to use this character to stream instead, I need to wait like an entire week. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed Comment down below everything I did wrong, because clearly I did a lot. I mean, I'm, ooh, I messed up and I wasted an hour of my time today. So, uh, use this before boss battles. What the hell did I get? Played 92 hours in total. Oh, boy. What did I get? Life potion. Mmm. Love that item that I'm never going to use. Alright. <laughs> I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm.